So if you have more than one syllabus document under your syllabus tab in Angel, they will all come across as modules in Desire to Learn. You'll need to delete any extra files you no longer need, but you also want to make sure that the file that you keep is the syllabus file that you want to use. So I want to go ahead, once I click into my course, to get to the content, you would click on the content prompt down, click content. You're going to see your list of table of contents and all of the different syllabi. So what I have to do is in order to delete the syllabi module, I physically have to click on the uh, name of the syllabus here. So when I click on the name of the syllabus here, it comes up by itself. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the little options menu. And I click on little options and I click delete module. When I do that, I'm going to get two choices. Remove this module and keep all the files or permanently delete the module and remove the files. In this particular case, I want to remove all of the files. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The module is deleted successfully. When it's deleted successfully, it will come back and you'll see the table of contents now will have only three. So now you'll see that there are three, and again, what you want to do is go in here and click on the syllabus and go ahead and delete that module. And you have to do this for each one individually. And when you do that, it will delete, and then you'll see that two will show up back here. So the one thing, again, you want to make sure of is not to delete the syllabus file that you want to use, so in order to see the syllabus file, if you click on the syllabus, the name syllabus, if that's the file, what's going to happen in this particular case? And it depends. If it's an HTML page, it's going to load pretty quickly. Uh, in this particular case, this is a PDF, and the PDF loads. So if this is the particular one that you want to keep, then you don't want to delete the, that particular syllabus. So again, you're going to go ahead back into the, um, using the breadcrumb links, and let's say this is the one I want to keep, but this is another one that I want to get rid of. I click on that one. I click up here. I delete module. And again, I want to permanently delete the files because, again, I don't want to waste space on the server. Uh, so that's how you go about uh, deleting the uh, extra syllabi and keeping the one that you want.